Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Horimiya episode number 4. Alright, the previous episode. <laughs> uh, Miyamura got into a fight again. And this time it's with to Toru now. <laughs> Like, uh, like the second episode was Miyamura kind of picking a fight with Sengoku in the third episode it's with Toru. Now, he is, I can see like he is a bit expressive, you know. But uh, there was a reason for the second episode's like, you know, fight. But the third episode's fight was kind of a weird thing, you know. Like uh, the usual like small bickering and fight that friends have with each other. That was basically it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like he, you know like Toru just kind of like not even slapped him he just like kind of like tapped him like that and like you know that escalated and that's what happens uh like you know when you like uh, friends with someone and oh, okay and everything so just a sec now like yeah what I was, was I trying to say like let's see let's see how they like make up you know because in the previous episode in the end we see like toru kind of coming in and miyamura kind of like you know standing no uh miyamura coming in toru was kind of standing uh, outside in the like little balcony portion and yeah let's see how they will make up you know like <laughs> let's just uh, see so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number four of horimiya all right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the Sakura. Her name was Sakura, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I noticed the uh, clock doesn't have any hands. First time I noticed it. All right. All right, let's see. Everybody loves everybody, somebody. They are able to handle. Well, I don't know about Remy, but Sengoku seems a pretty okay. Oh, she knows her, his name. Wait, what happened with with their fight? Like, am I watching the right episode? What happened to the fight? <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> it 
Damn, that's... <laughs> yeah, because of the ice cream. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have an ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Like a snake. <laughs> Can you touch your nose with it? You know? Wait. He doesn't know her name? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, true. Like a spoiled kid. Oh, that's great. You mean it? Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna make... Make that there, yeah. They're making it their, like, you know, the place where they hang out. Um. <laughs> he just gave up on her. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, it's going to... It's going to... <laughs> what? Yeah... <laughs> oh god oh god wow she is point on <laughs> wow Oh no, there we go. Oh! What's... What, what's with the way he... <laughs> He's deliberately doing that. He's deliberately doing that. <laughs> Language, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, open that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, damn. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're not. 
<laughs> no, this like technically not normal. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, stop. <laughs> but he, like, no, he. Oh, <laughs> look at his face. He's like, what? What's this girl even saying? <laughs> you should not ask him that. No. Mm. Mm, no. Okay. Friend. Oh, one of those friends who like. Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> oh okay. Oh damn. Well. <laughs> Um <laughs> Okay Oh, damn. What? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Just a sec. What the? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no. Damn. In 2020 and 2021. <laughs> someone did something like this. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, he, he knows her. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Google. No. <laughs> ya saca. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, what's what's with him? Oh, they went. Oh, damn. I think it was he the only friend that Yeah, yeah, he must be the only friend who like you know, kind of interacted with him and all. <coughs> okay. Mi amor. <laughs> Why would what's with the Yama? Yeah. <laughs> Yama and Kava. Yeah, he he's kind of a loner. Like that's I think he he's the only one guy who like was friends with him. Yeah, I think so. Oh damn, these guys are. And here we go. <laughs> Damn, it's straight to the point. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Oh. Damn. What? <laughs> I can't have a cold. <laughs> oh God. Damn, Sota. Don't die while I'm gone. Oh, this is her mom. <coughs> Where's his, her dad? Like, we've never seen her dad before. <coughs> oh, damn. Wait. <laughs> Wait. 
the school end oh this sota call oh yeah <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> oh. What the? No, he he must. What? <coughs> Is she hallucinating or something? Yeah, yeah, she must be. That's not around. Yeah, she's hallucinating because of fever. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thirty eight, damn. Hmm. Oh, what? Damn! <laughs> Whoa, what? I was not expecting. Is he awake even? Yeah, she she was awake. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, what was that? Like, she suddenly, like, just slipped it into it. <laughs> oh my god, what the? Yeah, everything will go back to the... <laughs> I was really not expecting this. He just slipped in within all of those information, like, you know? Like, you're saying that, like, I've called your mom and all, life, uh, like, told Ishikawa Kun to say, like, inform the school, here's your things, and then he slipped it, like, you know, amidst all of that, and then, like, said something completely different. <laughs> and I'm sure he realized that she's awake. Otherwise, why would he be telling all of those things to her? Like, you know, like, like I've told your mom and all. <laughs> like, wow, like, I've never seen uh, something like this in a shoujo manga. Like, this is like just. <laughs> oh, God, that was really good. Like, I have to say, like, he. Quite unique in my opinion, the way the whole scene played out. And this is barely the fourth episode, wow. I kind of expected everything to go quickly because this is Orimiya. 
So, but still, like, I at least expected everything to go down in eight or like you know nine ninth episode, and then like, like you know, okay, that's the end. Uh, and then everything could, like you know, the whole confession scene. I thought like maybe it will be done in the eighth or ninth episode, but they did it in the fourth episode in a in a weird way. <laughs> so damn, that was like. Wait, am I even watching the correct episode? Wait a minute, just a sec. Like the what happened to the uh, fight between uh, what's his name, Yamura and um, Toru? Um, just a sec. Um, I'm just checking. Like, yeah, this must be the correct. Yeah, this is the correct episode. Like, <laughs> you know, it happened so suddenly. I was. Like concerned for a bit. I was thinking like did I like you know watch the correct episode even? Um Yeah, I think so, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so So yeah, that was it. That was this episode. This was um Okay, let me just Just a sec guys, I'm still confused. Is this really the correct episode? Like this is really the fourth episode. Did they really? I'm just like double checking it. I'm I'm still unable to like believe it that Oh my god Um, Episode four, let me just check this for Second. Yeah, this is the correct episode. Like, I, I watched the correct episode. Wow. <laughs> okay. Like, like I, I was confused because of the, the, you know, the reason why I was confused is that uh, in the previous episode, uh, this is third episode, there was this whole fight that happened, didn't it? Like, between Miyamura and um, Toru. And then, like you know, um, I thought like the, the, like the, the last like ending scene was like uh, Toru was standing and Miyamura comes in from his behind. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was thinking they're going to talk and like you know kind of you know make like make friends again like and like kind of like talk about it, become friends again. But in this episode, it suddenly started with them being all okay with each other, you know, like the whole fight. I don't know what happened with that. Uh, at the beginning of the episode, I was like, is this really the correct episode? Then I just kind of forgot about it. And by the end of it, like, you know, the whole confession scene comes out and I'm like, am I really reacting to the correct episode? Like, this is the fourth episode. So, like, okay, so this is the correct episode. Uh, <laughs> I'm still like in disbelief, but anyways, um, yeah, things are going a bit too fast, but like I don't like you know I'm I'm not complaining. Like this is something that usually most of the anime and shoujo mangas do not do. So, yeah, and all right, so this episode, this was um. Uh, okay, so let's talk about this episode. Uh, at the beginning, we see the whole like uh, them make, making kind of new friends and like swing like hanging around in. Uh, the student council room <laughs> and like you know because of the AC and everything and <coughs> like yeah like Miyamura uh, and uh, Toru they brought all their friends and this Hori um, <coughs> what's her name you you or Yuri I, I cannot remember that girl that um, the other girl uh, her and you know like they're all like hanging around in that room and there's this like misunderstanding and all with uh, Toru kind of misunderstanding the situation and I don't know if Sengoku was deliberately like you know kind of wording it that way or they really were unaware of their language but <clears throat> that was some suggestive language you know um, I think he, like he must he must have been like you know messing around like you know like deliberately like saying something like that like uh, using that language because they kind of discussed about the whole thing you know uh, before Miyamura and Hori comes uh, comes in and that you know uh, they come in and they like uh, talk with them and who says I think Hori says it uh, that like the whole like cola got messed up and 
I'm, I'm sure like they deliberately not like Nyamura, but uh, at least Sengoku. I think he deliberately like said it like that, you know, to just mess with Toru. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something that I think. But anyways, and then there was this whole thing with um the friend um Nyamura's friend from middle school, middle school, yeah, middle school, and. <clears throat> like uh the his school like life was kind of as we, like he explained like kind of you know like as like he acted as not acted but he was like a loner and all no one kind of talked with him there was no friends and everything and everyone's kind of scared of him <coughs> but um what's his name i cannot remember the guy who was his friend she something with just a sec. What was his name? Anyways, I cannot find it now. But okay, like that guy, um, Mia, uh, Miyamura's friend. Now he, uh, he was the only one. You no, know? he was the only one who interacted with him. And I don't know, like um, the whole class atmosphere, like was weird. Like you know, like the whole thing with kind of uh like I, I said like i talked about this in the previous episode like you know like i'm too cool for this guy something like that or like but uh like as far as i can tell like uh the thing with miyamura's class it was not that the thing was a little bit different i think everyone's kind of afraid of him or yeah i think maybe it would that was it like <clears throat> because you know like he had this kind of piercings and all and um he was kind of like always uh, kept to himself and as like you know the other guy said that i uh like I'll, i kind of found out that he has these tattoos and piercings i'm sure he kind of you know circulated that uh like information to his other friends and that got circulated into the whole class so i'm sure like you know the as you know like as rumors kind of fly around and all <clears throat> like the whole class was under the impression that oh my god like he like you know like has tattoos, has piercings, and like let's stay away from him. So the whole thing was like it's not the like the, there's like two different types of th uh, like how like people become loners. Like either like the class or, or everyone kind of like act as if like you know I'm too good for you, so I won't talk to you. This kind of a mentality, or either uh, or the another like you know <clears throat> counterpart is that uh, they're scared of him or they do not. Like know how to talk with him or how to act in front of him and um yeah that was basically it it was the latter one that like no one was <clears throat> you know no one was sure how to interact with him and that's why like no one interacted with him and no one talked with him he had no friends and all and uh <clears throat> yeah and that was basically it and uh, his friend uh, the orange haired guy i cannot find his name i yeah but yeah he was the only one who kind of saw that and decided to kind of break you know break that kind of uh what can i say that whole what what do i call it like you know the the atmosphere of the class the whole like I will not interact with him, this kind of thing. He broke that and decided to interact with Miyamura himself. And even though his friends tried to like talk with him and say that, oh, like don't talk with Miyamura, like, you know, I saw him and he's this kind of a creepy guy. Uh, he did not like, you know, listen to it. And he did his own thing. So yeah, that was, like, you know, at least there's like one person who he had. Like, uh, like, pending your, high, like, you know, middle school, whatever, middle school, high school, uh, like, whatever school, uh, spending that all alone is a really, you know, a really tough thing. And that's how, like, you know, there's this whole thing with people becoming, uh, we see in, it in anime, every, uh, like, a lot of times, like, people becoming shut in or hikikomori, as they say. Uh, and shut in that that's that's why it happens you know like when either either when they're like bullied and everything you know they be become this kind of they don't want to go to school they like go, shut themselves in in their room plays video games and all 
and either that's the reason other like otherwise like there's no friends who talks with him everyone kind of avoids him and all which kind of makes the person not like going to school and he starts skipping school and uh, shuts himself in his room that's how this happens you know and but if you have like at least one friend you know at least one friend you can kind of you know go through it you can kind of um continue going to school so thankfully like uh Nyamura had that one friend and that's why like you know he was able to um spend a good not not a good time but at least uh like you know a fairly enjoyable time in his middle school so yeah it's really good you know like imagine like you know like i can't even imagine like going to school and there's like no one who talks with you everyone avoids you yeah like that's unimaginable for me i'm sure for a lot of people because like you know like like a school is for a long time like i don't know how how much time the school like you know goes on in japan but at least in my country it it was like how much um like six or seven hours uh, like almost six hours uh so like you know spending six hours with no one to talk to and people avoiding you not interacting with anyone that's hell you, you know like that's that's something that like i i hope like no one um finds themselves in that kind of a situation but i know like there are a lot of people who are in that type of a situation like you know like robotically going to school doing your class like you know like class work and all no friends eating your lunch by yourself and then going back alone yeah like that's really something but anyways um yeah and then like this the next portion uh comes whole the whole um what's her name hori hori's like you know a fever and everything and uh yeah like i can kind of i could kind of tell that her mom was a bit like you know had a lot of work and everything so that's why like she was unable to spend a lot of time with her and i'm not sure what's up with her dad like like i was i was like kind of thinking like she like is his dad if is her dad like you know alive or like where is he is he like divorced or something like you know because we've only saw her mom and he, he usually does not talk with her like talk about her dad and um i think like from this episode we can probably un like gather that his dad is still alive so like he can she kind of like you know her mom kind of said that your dad is unable to be here or something like that i don't know is, is his dad like in some kind of um uh, like outside for work or something you know it's like there's some dads who go out <clears throat> overseas and everything for like work related purposes something like that i'm not sure but like like one thing we got to know that he is alive like that's one thing like you know, you know like in most of them uh, like not shoujo but in, in most of the animes like either the, like the majority of the po times is either that the main protagonists don't have any parents or have only one parent like that's basically like it's really rare that you see only like you know both of the parents uh present in like uh you know the main protagonist's parents or yeah something like this it's quite rare so yeah anyways um so yeah and uh okay so uh, what i was saying i was saying that yeah like her mom was like you know kind of busy and everything and could not spend much time with uh uh hori and i can kind of understand that how hori not understand how hori felt but you know like like sota Mm -hmm. Sota is not facing the same thing because Hori is with her, him, you know, Hori kind of like cares for him and like is like is in home with him and everything. So I'm sure like he does not feel the absence of his parents as much as Hori felt when she was completely alone, you know, uh, like when she was the only child, when like, you know, Sota was not born. So, like, you know, like being alone at house when you have this high fever. That's pretty scary and pretty lonely as well. So, 
yeah and that's why like she kind of like you know was kind of not hallucinating but kind of like seeing things and everything and saying that don't go and miyamura says that why are you saying that like where are you going like just say that lord don't leave me you know like and that and that kind of shows that like how much hori did not want to be a burden on her mom like you know like he was saying that where are you going but was not saying that do not go like you know the maturity in even in her childhood but yeah anyways and then like the one of the most <laughs> you know like one of the most shock not shocking but weird thing happens is that like miyamura like he just like slips in his confession within all of those things that he was saying he was saying like oh like here's his medicine i've told your mom i've told like the school and everything and i like you uh you know like i it's been quite a while that i felt this way about you so yeah i should go and <laughs> what <laughs> And Hori was like, oh my god, my fever like went down. <laughs> and yeah, like now the question is, will Hori confront Miyamura about it? As she said, like, if I confront about it, you know, things will change. So do I want that change or not? So that's the question. And let's see what she decides. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was this episode. This was um, uh, Hori Mia episode number four. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share. I'll check all of the comments out. So yeah, guys, um, I'll be back with another Horimiya episode next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.